For KRVN Sports, I'm Jason Jorgensen. The Kozad boys wrestling team will be involved in the NSAA state duels on Saturday in Kearney. Haymakers go in as a second seed in Class B this year. Head coach Derek Hamerlin says it's been a good season. So far, regular season has just come to a close with uh, a championship in Raymond Central last last Saturday, and, and we've had some nice uh, bright spots with some some tournament wins at Valentine. And, and generally speaking, um, you know, we've we've had pretty consistent year, and I feel like we're in the process of peaking right now as we get into February in the postseason. So that was. That was what we were working for, but you got to have a lot of things kind of come together, and, and sometimes those things are out of your own control, so you just hope for the best. But so far, so good. I think we're on the right track. Looks like you have pretty good depth. Also, a number of guys who are already over 20 wins this season. That is, that is definitely a strength of this team. We have two open weight classes, but the 12 that we do fill, well, I feel like we have pretty good athletes there. And then at the same time, a lot of those guys have wrestled um, for for a lot of years through the youth program, junior high, and then have spent a lot of time in the off season, um, you know, developing as well. And so, for a school our size, um, I think we're we've got a really good thing in terms of every kid we put on the mat is is a pretty solid, good kid for Class B level wrestling in Nebraska. We're talking with Cozad wrestling coach Derek Hamlin as the Haymakers are getting set for the state duels tomorrow in Kearney. Derek, you've had a number of guys have great years. Have there have there been many surprises for you this winter? I, uh, generally speaking, I, I feel like we've been on track. I feel like we've kind of had a plan with a lot of these kids that go way back, individually speaking, into their youth years. And so I I think that generally speaking, I I think we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. And so um, we've had great contributions from some young guys like Matthew Arndt. Um, Lane Wright um, and Miles Hyde um, have done a great job providing depth for us um, that maybe we didn't have last year in terms of those guys being a little younger. Two of them are freshmen. And then we've had some tremendous leadership from our seniors. Um, you know, Drew White's doing a great job and, and Cooper Pohl. And, and up in the upper weights, we've got two really good upper weights at 215 and a heavyweight with, with Tyree Smith and, and Chris Ruano. And so you throw that in with the Brock Malcolm and some of our other high level guys, Aaron Wilson. And, and it's just, we have a nice deep team. That's also got a, a good solid core group of, of higher level guys that this time of year are going to have to, you know, make sure that they're wrestling their best and, and can do some damage here when we get to Omaha, hopefully. Uh, this week you're in Carney on Saturday for the Nebraska duels. Uh, you qualified for this event again. Uh, what kind of your thoughts and how do you guys attack this thing? Well, it's, it is, you know, postseason, and so February's here, and, and it's what we've been working for all year. We want to be wrestling our best, you know, with our best effort, our best intensity, our best focus as we progress each week into February. And so, you know, everybody that's in Class B state duels, it's, you know, it's neck and neck. Uh, if you look at the wild card points and everything, it's like splitting hairs. And so even though we come in as the two seed, um, We'll face Beatrice, which is the seventh seed. We've split with Beatrice in terms of tournaments. And duels can be different, you know, in terms of matchups. But uh, Beatrice and, and us, are, we're, we're dead even. And it's just going to be a matter of maybe bonus points and who can stay off their back and who can get a pin here or there. And and so that's when you're looking at the two seventh seed in terms of separation, you know, um, Class B is just uber, uber competitive right now. And so... We can't take it for granted. We're really going to have to show up Saturday and really wrestle on our best, um, even that first, even that first duel out. So, but I'm excited, I, and I think the boys are too. It's it's a it's a tremendous opportunity. And that was Cozad wrestling coach Derek Hammerland. So the Haymakers open up as the number two seed on Saturday in Kearney at the Buffalo County Fairgrounds. As you mentioned, they will take on Beatrice. That state quarterfinal will take place on Saturday morning at nine. For KRVN Sports, I'm Jason Jorgensen.